want to bring it up. So, uh, so do you? But I noticed in your book, you don't blame anybody, or in fact, you're comfortable with your choice of professions. Of course, I yeah. am. Why would I blame anybody? Because it, uh, people have a stigma, right, about it. Okay. Even, even though it's like the number one search term <laughs> in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, everybody watches porn. Everybody watches porn. I watched a little. Very quiet. There's watched, a mom here with her daughter who's shaking her head no, just for the record. Well, I watched a little this <laughs> yeah. morning of you, and to be honest with you, Tara, I hadn't heard of you because I, I, they make fun of me. They say, oh, I'll watch as much porn, you know, as I can get for free, but I really don't. But I did watch You pay it. for it. No, I don't do that either, but I watched a little because I knew we were talking to you, and you were everywhere, and yeah. not only... Are you everywhere? But you you control the purse strings. I mean, you, absolutely. You have the you own the business. You absolutely. own not only yourself, but she's many the other. Martha Stewart of porn. Exactly, and that hotter. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, that's probably not a good. Yeah, <laughs> we wouldn't use it. Rarely. No, I'm a, I. You know what? I am a businesswoman. I mean, porn is my business. I went into porn ten years ago. I was actually a nurse uh, at the time. I. Uh, was working as a nurse, and actually some girlfriends of mine sent their photos into Playboy magazine. It's funny, and you were a nurse in the movie. I was watching the I movie. was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was that kind of movie, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so I sent my photos into Playboy, and that's how I got into the industry. I did Playboy magazine. I did magazines for about a year, and then I went into movies. I own my own uh, production company, website, clothing line. So, Did you... Um, did you ever, like, have any, um, it, it doesn't sound like it, but did you ever have any question about whether this was the right career for you, or is this just exactly what you wanted to do? Well, I didn't wake up and say, I want to be a porn star, but uh, I got into the industry because I was curious. I was, I'm not uptight about sex. I was raised to be free-thinking and free-spirited. I, I don't judge, and I just kind of went in with my eyes open. There you go. You will. Uh, most of the time. Anyway, and so you, when you're doing a movie, yeah. what percentage of the time are you really like as if you were with a boyfriend or a, or a husband like enjoying it as much as you would with someone you were in you know well i do la, enjoy la, it la, 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 la. i do enjoy it you i'm do. not in love with the guys i work with it's right. fun it's just sex you know i enjoy it and i'm very good at my job that's right. why i have lots of fans and you're the boss. I mean, literally, I the you're boss. the guy. You're you write their paychecks as well as oh, yeah. as the rest. So they yeah. would not do anything out of bounds. No, I wrote my own destiny. You know, I'm very proud of what I do. I'm not. Nobody's forced me into doing anything. And you know, I mean, I I don't have any shame about sex. I'm not hung up about it. What? I'm very. What do you think of? Do you think society is? Do you think we are? Uh, well, you guys all seem uncomfortable in this room. <laughs> We're not actually. I'm just yeah, saving the like We're uncomfortable. Oh. We're uncomfortable. I'll, t I'll tell you why we're uncomfortable. We're uncomfortable because uh, we're not one of those shock shows. Right. But we're really red-blooded, ordinary, normal American guys. Right. And we don't get to meet somebody like you all the time. So maybe we're that geek uncomfortable kind uh, of right. thing that you like. All right. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I like geeks. But we also all have wives. Yeah. Who might, you know, when you did that thing. <laughs> I think that you're better for them. Like, I think that this sort of emotional outlet, if you will, saves marriages. Oh, it does. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have a lot of female fans. I mean, a lot of women. Um, I always have this little joke that um, I'm the Asian girl's J-Lo because, you know, like Asian women are, they're very sweet. You know, they're very mm -hmm. inspired. They always say, oh, we love you and, you know, we love your movies and we love your clothes and we love, you know, what you do. And I think that it is empowering for women. I mean, my career was all about empowerment over exploitation. You know, for me, it was all about getting what I wanted, doing what I wanted and controlling my own destiny. I do agree that there are facets of the industry that probably I could understand why people would feel that it is degrading to women or I could understand why they would feel it's not putting women in the best light, but that's never how I portrayed my image or myself, and that's never how and, I portrayed my company. And it's why you're such a massive brand. Well, Look at well, some of know, the awards that well, she's you're, won. Uh, you know, you're the Susan B. Anthony of porn. If you want to put a... You guys are like Mar yeah, yeah. Martha Stewart, Susan B. Anthony. Well, well, there's <laughs> Come on, let's make like a hotter girl. Well, no, no, there's, there's an element of your industry which is, you know, degrading and... Yes, uh, uh, you know, and not, I will not agree abusive, with that. but exploitative. Yeah. Right. I will agree with that. And you've probably done more to change that than anybody in your industry. Arguably the number one porn star in the world today, and one of the things I noted in your book is you're, you have a lot of pride 
yeah. in that. Absolutely. And, and you've become a huge... When, when did you realize... Because some girls in, in your business probably are struggling just to make some bread, right? Right. When did you realize that you had something bigger that you were going to become? And there's uh, Jenna Jameson. Jenna Jameson. There's how many Jenna. How many are there that are brand names like you? Not that many. No, there's probably about three or four of us. Right. But, um, when did you realize? Was it when you went to one of those shows in Vegas and you had like a zillion fans? Was that it? Actually, you know what? The shining moment for me was when I was in uh, Cannes, Con France, and I went to the Con Film Festival, and it was crazy because I remember getting off the plane and seeing like people with signs, and I had police escorts everywhere, and I just remember thinking, "Wow, I'm like the Demi Moore of porn," you know? <laughs> it was like now, crazy. There's a comparison she right. made. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Demi, yeah, 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 Demi Moore. No, not even She's just the of, Asian Demi Moore. I'm the Asian Demi Moore. Not yeah. just of porn. I mean, I've done so much more than porn. I mean, mm. I've been on like four USO tours. You know, I mean, I've done. Blades of Glory. I've done lots of great movies. Yeah. I've met lots of great people. I've written a uh, book. I mean, people, there's a lot of people that know me outside of porn as well. It's not just, I think that's what I'm most known for because it's, porn is still, it's taboo. It's, it's still got shocking. It's that taboo thing. It does. Even it does. It, it seems makes, to make money and there seems to be no shortage of bandwidth right. being used for that. <laughs> In you, fact, bandwidth. I, <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it's, sorry. No, it's no, true. No. It's true. Do you it's think? True. Do you think porn and prostitution are the same in the sense that you're having sex for money? And if somebody paid you enough, if a really rich guy said, "I don't want to make a movie. I just, you know, I'll pay you a hundred grand just to come over right now." Is, oh, great, great. Is, is that okay? Is that isn't that marriage? You know, <laughs> <laughs> isn't that what marriage is? Thank you. Yeah. Laura has a question for you. Hi, Tara. I'm over here. I was just reading about Hi. you. Hi. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice you, to meet you. Um, was what I was reading. You separated from your husband just a couple of months ago. Yes. You guys are. It looks like you have a really nice separation. In fact, yes. you're still working together as partners. Well, well, oh, Is that well, actually, we um, we met seven years ago, and we were married for five years. We were married while we both were in the industry, actually, and we worked together as a couple. And we separated about six months ago, and we co-own our company together. So, so it's a good separation. Is it ever good, girl? 